welcome back to edu skills oed made easy our mission is to make you fall in love with oed if you're watching this on youtube kindly consider subscribing the channel give us a thumbs up if you like our work and please do share your concerns so that we customize our next session accordingly and please share these videos to others so that we reach out to many oed aspirants especially those who are financially struggling and let me make it very clear edu skills is a non-profit platform we don't charge for any of our services and today we are going to deal with uh, reading part b however as i told you the strategies and the tips and the clues are almost everything same whether it is b or c only difference between oet part b reading part b and c is that b has six independent paragraphs no link between whereas c each text has got uh, different questions and paragraphs have a link. There are two texts. Each text has got internal links. So questions are connected, interconnected. So let me share my screen. So OET skills, OET 2.0 occupational English test, reading part B. And today's text one. Let's check it. And what are the things we are going to look into it? Strategies, tips, clues. In this one particular text, we'll be looking into synonyms, synonymous language, grammatically inaccurate answer option, topic sentence, repetition of key phrases, uh, paragraph structure, and sequence. Now, this is the text, and I'll try if the system reads it. Let's check. Just listen. This is also a listening practice for you. Four, what is correct about hypertension? For subjects with a normal or subnormal hypertension, it can prevent or delay hypertension. BP can be well tackled with the use of BP-specific medicine. Right changes in lifestyle can curtail down BP values more effectively than various other medical therapies. Hypertension, prevention or treatment. Adequate changes in lifestyle are the cornerstone for the prevention and treatment of hypertension. Although rapid medical initiation is necessary for the patients in a high level of risk, Lifestyle changes are fundamental for the therapy. According to the previous report, lowering effects for stable blood pressure can be equivalent to monotherapy of medicine. Contrarily, the weak point would be the low level of compliance or adherence associated with necessary time. For adequate action, adequate changes in lifestyle would be effective for some group of subjects. For grade 1 hypertensive patients, it can prevent or delay medical therapy. Moreover, for hypertensive patients continuing on medical therapy, it can contribute to BP reduction of blood pressure and allow reduction of the number and doses of antihypertensive agents. Appropriate changes in lifestyle would decrease other cardiovascular risk factors and improve several clinical conditions. Now let's take just the question. And what is correct about hypertension they are asking? First option says for subjects with normal or subnormal hypertension, it can prevent or delay hypertension. Can somebody tell me what is wrong with this option? It can be straight away eliminated without reading anything. Grammatically incorrect. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Grammatically incorrect sentence. It's, it doesn't make any sense. For example, for subjects with normal or subnormal hypertension, it means it should be hypertension, right? Hypertension can prevent or delay hypertension. Is there any meaning? No, father. Can, I, can hypertension <laughs> prevent or delay hypertension? No, Impossible. There is no, no meaning. You cannot yes, say, uh, for example, diabetes can prevent or delay diabetes. You cannot say that. There is no meaning. Medically, there is no meaning. Grammatically, there is no meaning. In general common sense, there is no meaning. So, mm -hmm. grammatically incorrect. incorrect. Right? Yeah. So, what can be done? Yeah, immediately, elim immediately eliminate. Your business is easy then. So, immediately okay. you eliminate it. Yes. Now, next we have only two options. Are you convinced with that first option? Yes. Father. You read yes, it yes, again. Father. Okay, read it again. Yes, that's, a, yes, that's how you father. have to analyze the questions. That's how we said in part B, if there are some newcomers, we have what method? Q, A, T. Q question, A, question, question, answer, text. Then text. text. Whereas in C, it is QTA, question, yeah, yeah. text, answer, mm -hmm. options. So this is the reason why we say scientifically QAT method, question, read answer options, then go to the text because when you read the answer options, you can eliminate in using different methods. We'll come to uh, a couple of methods uh, with the next text. 
So next one, BP can be well tackled with the use of BP specific medicine. So the key word is tackling BP with medicine. 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 Yeah. Okay. Other one is right uh, changes in lifestyle can curtail down BP values more effectively than various other medical therapies. Life changes in lifestyle. lifestyle yes. Lifestyle. Now tell me, can you find in the heading, can you find these two keywords? Prevention or treatment. Listen prevention to me. Yeah, what is prevention? It, 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 synonymous of prevention? Changes. Change in lifestyle. Ch changes in lifestyle. Yes. And uh, synonymous of treatment? Medical. Medicine. 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 So, hypertension, prevention or treatment is the controversy here. Whether prevention is better or treatment is better. Because here it says, Right, the option C, answer option C says, uh, C, option C says, right changes in lifestyle can curtail down BP values more effectively than various other medical therapies. Means third option says, uh, life change uh, prevention is better than medication. So the C option says, first option says, uh, medicine can help. It can be well tackled. But C option says, Lifestyle changes are better than medication. It means prevention is better than cure. 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 So now we are going to read the topic sentence. I hope you are familiar with the paragraph structure. If you haven't done it, please, please. There are three uh, videos uploaded. See all the three videos repeatedly and make sure because that is the crux of understanding these passages in B as well as C. Now, could somebody read the topic sentence? Adequate, Adequate changes are the cornerstone yeah. okay. for the prevention and treatment of hypertension. See, this is the topic sentence, and the rest of the paragraph has to explain only the topic sentence, right? Yes, Father. Do you yes, understand? Yes, the, yes, then yes. the other sentences will be supporting sentences and developing sentences, supporting the topic sentence and developing the explaining the topic yes. sentence. So, what is the meaning of this topic sentence? Prevention is better or medication is better? Prevention. Yeah. yeah, adequate changes in lifestyle. Changes in lifestyle are the cornerstone for the prevention and treatment of hypertension. For the prevention and treatment of hypertension. So lifestyle changes is the key phrase. The correct answer will depend upon the key word or the key phrase. So which option has the key phrase? Option C. 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 Option C. 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 Okay, let's C. let's check. Now, let me know. Uh, tell me where are the other repetition of the same or the you know, the reference of the word. same. Now, the before that, word. let's let's go from here. How many repetitions are there? You have here again the in the second sentence. Changes. Changes. Lifestyle changes. Yes. Yeah, fundamental for the therapy. Again, they are saying lifestyle is fundamental for the therapy. Lifestyle changes are fundamental for the fundamental. Therapy. therapy according to the previous report lowering effects of stable blood pressure this is an, again a reference for lifestyle changes then uh, can be equivalent to monotherapy of medicine equivalent to medication oh. contrarily the weak point would be the uh, necessary Okay, it's okay. Adequate changes in life adequate again. changes again. in life changes in life adequate yeah, changes in life Okay. And would be effective for some groups of such a four for grade one hypertension. It what does it matter for? Lifestyle, Lifestyle changes. changes. Lifestyle changes. It can prevent or delay medical therapy. Moreover, for hypertension patients continuing on medical therapy, it again. Okay. Lifestyle yeah, changes. Lifestyle changes, changes can contribute to BP reduction of blood pressure and allow reduction of the number and doses of Intensive agency. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Appropriate changes in lifestyle. Changes in lifestyle would decrease other cardiovascular risk factors and improve several clinical conditions. That is a conclusion. And don't jump into it. Some of you jumped into it. That's not a good habit. That is a conclusion. You have to jump into that particular stage only for the questions which ask you to infer. Infer. What do you infer from the text? Okay. Mostly on infer, one more type is there, I'll explain in this session itself. Okay, so this is based on topic sentence. This question is based on topic, topic sentence. sentence. 
and if you read the topic sentence you have the answer clear and even otherwise with your general knowledge what do you understand as medical professionals prevention is better or cure is better Prevention, prevention is, is better. Prevention is better. Prevention yeah, is better. definitely. That is the age-old adage. Everybody believes it. That is a fact. And a medical journal cannot uh, speak against it normally. But I'm telling you, your knowledge is not, is not recommended to be read into the passage. But in general, you know, medication uh, prevention is better than cure. Better than cure. Yeah. And the second option, first option was uh, incorrect, grammatically incorrect. Second option says medication is best. Third option says Lifestyle Life changes, changes are better than. Uh, means third option is just that uh, paraphrasing of that particular adage saying prevention is better than cure. Sure. Even without going into the text, you have an idea this must be the right answer. And just reading, if you are competent, uh, don't, don't believe that next passage you take up, you will be competent. No, it takes time. If you are competent, just that topic sentence will confirm your presumption is correct. Adequate changes in lifestyle are the cornerstone for the prevention and treatment of hypertension. It prevents and treats. That's a categorical statement. Equivalent to the equivalent to answer option C. And as you know, if the topic sentence is that, nothing else can happen in that particular paragraph. Other sentences, you see, almost more than seven times the lifestyle changes are repeated. It's explaining this particular, and it again saying it is fundamental. Life changes are fundamental for the therapy. Okay? And again saying changes in lifestyle would be effective for some group of subjects. First one, for grade one hypertensive patient can prevent or delay medical therapy. Moreover, for hypertensive patients continuing on medical therapy, it can contribute to BP reduction and allow uh, reduction of the number of and doses of anti-hypertensive agents. Okay, then the conclusion says, appropriate changes in life would decrease other cardiovascular risk factors and improve several clinical conditions. This is a general statement, conclusion, inference. Okay, but all other sentences other than this uh, con conclusion definitely is the summary of the whole thing or it, it connects with everything, but all other sentences are just explaining the topic sentence. So any passage, as you read the topic sentence, if you understand the topic sentence, you have a general idea about the paragraph. It is clear? Yes, Father. So, yes, so father. we are, father. Yes. yes, Father. So that's what we said. We have synonyms here, like treatment, medicine, anonymous language, life life changes, prevention. Grammatically inaccurate answer option was that topic sentence, repetition of key phrase, that is changes in lifestyle, lifestyle. and uh, yeah, and paragraph structure and sequence. That's what I said. That uh, sub uh, topic sentence and the supporting sentence and developing sentences explain the topic sentence. That's clear, I believe. So That's let's fine. look into yeah. Maybe let's look into this one thing. See the structure. I'll just to show you that sequence, which is very important in every text B or C. You have to be mindful of this sequence. This is what I said, structure or sequence. Topic sentence is adequate changes in lifestyle are the cornerstone for the prevention and treatment of hypertension. This is called providing a structure, cohesion and coherence means the link between the sentences in a paragraph. So ad adequate uh, changes in lifestyle are the cornerstone for the prevention and treatment of hypertension. So definitely the point should be advantages of changes in lifestyle, right? Advantages above medication. So advantage one, Lifestyle changes are fundamental for the therapy. Advantage two, equivalent to monotherapy of medicine. Advantage three, adequate changes in lifestyle would be effective for some group of subjects. First group, for grade one hypertensive patients, it can prevent or delay medical therapy. Group two, hyperten for hypertensive patients continuing on medical therapy, it can contribute to BP reduction and allow reduction of the number and doses of hypertensive agents. And the conclusion is appropriate changes in lifestyle would increase other cardiovascular risk factors and improve several clinical conditions. Just to tell you, this is the structure and every paragraph has got a structure. So we should be able to understand that particular structure. Then it becomes very easy. That means uh, once you get this competency, you need not read the whole thing you can easily get into the answer. Now, second text, strategies and uh, things will be like topic sentence. Keyword, uh, how to eliminate the absolute, 
nature of the question, exception based question, structure and sequence, synonymous language, opposite meaning. So topic sentence again, keyword or phrase, definitely everywhere you have these things. Okay, topic sentence, keyword. These are seven strategies being used in this particular text, next text. This is taken from uh, official material sample two. Thank you, OET, for allowing me to use this for uh, teaching purposes. And now, what I'm telling you, you don't require all these strategies. You require one or two or three. Maybe with one strategy, you are able to find out the correct answer. If that is not the case, go into the two, second one, third one. And you need not think, by heart all these things, so keep in mind, once you gain competency, it's part of your reading process. This guideline extract says that the nurse in charge. Nurse in charge is the key phrase here, right? Yes. Now, what? Yes, yeah. Now, just read this. Must supervise the opening of the controlled drug cupboard. Yeah. The keyword is supervise. supervise. Now, to use your common sense and general sense, okay? Not about the text. We are just thinking about these questions and answer options. Should make sure that all... Oh. Elimination. <laughs> yeah. Yes, as soon as we get, we can't, we can't proceed. We can't proceed from there. Let's see, let's see whether it's right or wrong. Anyhow, all is a very bad thing for us. So we have kept it red. Okay. And uh, let's, let's, as of now, you said eliminate. I am respecting your views and I will eliminating. But if it is not correct, we'll again remove that strike. Okay. Now, third one can delegate responsibility for the cupboard keys to another word. Another word. Here, first one must supervise the opening of the controlled drug cupboard. How does it sound? Yeah. You, you keep on, you keep on op, uh, looking at supervising opening the cupboard. Does it make sense generally? No. So you no. either you open or give to some give somebody to open. Should you keep supervising whether how they are opening with the left hand or right hand? <laughs> Do you need to supervise? Okay. Anyhow, there is some some problem with the first option. Let's see whether the third option is correct. The third option. What is the key keyword here? Delegate responsibility. Delegate responsibility. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, delegate is the keyword. Delegate responsibility is the key phrase. Okay. So your presumption is that third one, the third one must be correct, right? Yes. Let's yes. let's see. Yes. Let's see as you go through the passage. Now just listen, okay? So it's a listening practice for you. Try to understand this uh, this particular option. Uh, confirm whether your presumption is correct. Yes. Medicine cupboard keys. The keys for the controlled drug cupboard are the responsibility of the nurse in charge. They may be passed to a registered nurse in order for them to carry out their duties and return to the nurse in charge. If the keys for the controlled drug cupboard go missing, the locks must be changed, and pharmacy informed, and an incident form completed. The controlled drug cupboard keys should be kept separately from the main body of keys. Apart from in exceptional circumstances, the keys should not leave the ward or department. If necessary. The nurse in charge should arrange for the keys to be held in a neighboring ward or department by the nurse in charge there. Now you see, what is the key word here? Keys is the main issue here, main word here. But the key phrase is, uh, this is a topic sentence, right? The keys for the con control drug cupboard are the responsibility of the nurse in charge. What does it mean? It speaks about what? Responsibility of the nurse. Of the nurse. Yeah. Yes. yeah, that is the, uh, the concept. Responsibility of the nurse. That is the key phrase or focus point or the controlling idea. If you remember, if you have attended my paragraph structure session, you know, that is the controlling idea of the paragraph. It controls that the responsibility of the nurse cons controls the paragraph. Now, what do you expect in the paragraph? Responsibility number one, responsibility number two, responsibility number three, number three. responsibility number four. Nothing else. As we yes, said sir. in the previous one, it was advantage number one, advantage number two, advantage number three, advantage number four. Here it is responsibility. Now, let, now tell me, uh, now let me know the keyword we said keys are the definitely the keyword. That uh, means the, uh, the main issue here. Responsibility is the controlling idea. Now, how many times keys are uh, repeated? Let's just find out. They. Does they mean something? The keys. They may be passed. Passed. Keys may be passed. Keys passed. Keys may be passed. passed. They. In order, the nurse, in order the for them to carry out their duties and return to the nurse in charge, the if the keys, the keys for the keys, control. if the keys for the control drug board is missing, 
the locks again has the locks also has the taste of key it's cool we will not uh, highlight it's it now the control yes. cupboard the control the the cupboard the keys. Cupboard keys. Cupboard keys. keys again keys yeah keys. Again, keys, keys are the keyword. Main body of keys. Main body of keys. Yeah, this is what you have to understand. Every text will have this repetition of the keyword. The then key again, should not, should not, key should, should not, key should not leave the word. But if necessary, the nurse in charge should arrange the keys. Arrange for the keys to be kept. Yeah, see how many times it is repeated. So this seven should be practiced very well. Yeah. Yeah, seven times. Seven is the perfect number. Okay. Now, now your business is to find out the responsibility of the nurse. Question is, the guidelines extra says the nurse in charge must supervise the opening of the controlled drug board. Does it speak anything about opening of the drug control drug this one, drug cupboard? Yeah. Should make no. sure that all ward cop bees are kept together. No. No, father. No, father. But opposite is there, you know, there is opposite. Separately, separately from the main yeah. 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 The main control should be kept separately from the, from main, the main body, body, of, body keys. of keys. But here it says all world cup board keys mm -hmm. are kept together. together. Okay. Kept so together. there's an opposite. Yes. There's an opposite. Now, now let's count down the responsibility of the nurse, charge nurse, in charge nurse. What is the responsibility? Past may be passed. May be passed. Does maybe passed as a taste of delegation? Yes, maybe yes. passed to yes. air another yes. registered nurse. Yes. 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 This yes. is yes. the synonymous yes. of delegate responsibility yes. for the to another word. Maybe passed to registered nurse in order for them to carry out their duties and return to the nurse in charge. If the key is for the now, if it is missing, what is the responsibility of in charge nurse? Yes. One thing. The locks must be, must be changed. changed. Second, pharmacy. inform the pharmacy. pharmacy inform. Third, inform incident, pharmacy. complete the incident form. Yeah. How beautiful it is given, responsibility of the nurse. Yeah. Again, the kind of should be kept separately. Next responsibility, control duck or cupboard keys should be kept separately from the main body of keys. Apart from in exceptional circumstances, this is known as exception-based question, okay? I told you, if they ask inference, what do you infer from the passage? And exception based can be last answer could be at the last post parts of the text. Now yes, it is okay. exception based. So uh, explaining uh, generally they explain everything. Then they give the exception. One exception is there. Now you see it says apart from an exceptional circumstance, the key should not leave the ward or department if necessary. The nurse in charge should if arrange necessary. for the keys to be. Yeah. Yeah, arrange for the keys to be held in a neighboring ward or department by the nurse in charge there. Arrange for the keys to be held in a neighboring ward, which is delegate responsibility for the keyboard keys to another ward. That is a paraphrasing. Even yes, otherwise, already in the first sentence, second sentence, you have the delegation. <laughs> delegate responsibility. As you said, responsibility is the controlling idea. Responsibility. Shivajati, don't worry. We can understand those things. No problem. Responsibility, what color I should give, I don't know. So beautiful it is. <laughs> is that okay? <laughs> yeah. There are no sufficient colors to fill in. Uh, let me check this color combination. Is it okay? Now you see, yes. if that is the controlling idea, answer usually the right answer will have the controlling idea, the word or a synonym. So where do you have the controlling idea in the three options? Option C. Can delegate responsibility. Yeah, responsibility. Yeah. Yes. Responsibility. Yes. Yeah. So again, it is confirming that is the correct answer. So I am wondering. This is from the official material. I am wondering what confusions you can have because it's telling time and again this is the answer. And your presumption was correct, right? Yes, father. Yes, father. And yes, father. even without even re without reading the text, your presumption was correct in both the cases. Now both the texts. That's why we say Q. A T method. And if you want to defeat the time, I tell you, you don't read the text most of the cases, such cases. You take the right answer and go revisit back with a lot of time at your hand. Then you can go back and confirm. Because confirmation in 99 cases will be correct confirmation. That will confirm your presumption. There is no issue. Once you are competent, that will happen. Now let's check, see the keywords, keys, 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 and exception based question. Now let's uh, just check. 
the structure. I am stressing the structure because that is the important thing. Okay, exception based question. Structure sequence, job description of a nurse in charge, right? It's something called a job description. What she should do. Exception based question. First, key is responsibility of the nurse in charge. That is the topic sentence meaning of keys of the control cupboard key. I made it short. Responsibility of the nurse. Responsibility one may be passed to a registered nurse for performing the duties. And responsibility two, if the keys are missing, what should you do? Change the locks. Second, inform the pharmacy. Third, complete the incident form. Your responsibility. And responsibility three, keep the keys separately from the main body of keys. Responsibility four, that's an exception. Keys should not leave the ward or department apart from an ex in exceptional circumstances. In ex which means in exceptional circumstances, if necessary, please send it over to the nurse in charge of the next ward. Yeah, or somebody in charge. So how beautifully this uh, paragraph is structured. Take time and analyze the paragraphs and find out the structure before that don't go to the next paragraph. That's what I say, maybe one paragraph is enough for you, one day's practice. The first text actually, uh, maybe at uh, 9.30, um, uh, this one, Arya sent me, immediately I tried to make some PPTs. Now text three, strategies, tips and clues in this text three, one is absolutes, second one, ignore the subject complements. You can see every text, there are differences. So they will be texting all these clues or strategies and your competency in that. So absolutes you did not have in the previous ones. Now you have absolutes. Ignore the subject complements here. Scale is here. Paraphrasing, opposite meaning. Now this is about postmortem consent. Getting consent before postmortem. So first method, foreseeing. You have to ask some questions, right? You have to foresee. Who has to get it? So postmortem consent is the heading. Okay, side heading. So the question is, who has to get the consent is one question, right? Then from whom they have to get it? Is it from the close relative of the patient? Or is it from the bystander, whoever is standing there? Or is it from all the relatives of the patients, right? It's a consent, right? Whom should you sign? Who should sign the consent? So who should sign? Yes, brother. Is it all the relatives concerned? Close, close relatives. No, close no, relatives. No, no, close relatives. Close the relatives. father, mother. Okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. And when it should be done? In what occasion yes, you have to get a consent for uh, before the procedure? Post before the procedure. Procedure. Yeah. Uh, no, maybe let me ask you specifically: Is it before death or after death? After death. After. This is before. No, be no. If it is, uh, do not resuscitate. Uh, written in the file, we have to get everything consent. Before or after the death of the after, patient? After, after. Oh, after the death. That is postmortem means that this is after the death. death. But the consent, when the consent form has to be signed. After the death. After the death. After the death. After Actually, father, if uh, un yeah. unexpectedly the patient is died, we can get after. If it is patient is really serious condition that uh, it's written in the file that do not resuscitate the patient, we have to get before. No. Okay. 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 Let's see. Now, for yeah. example, I'll give you another another scenario. For example, you have to now you have to maybe have the organs to be donated or some issues Different, they have. Yeah. Uh, in that case, what will you do? Before you have to before you before have to that. you have to do the post mortem okay. before the body or uh, before the heart is off, right? Yeah, before yes, certain yes. organ donation issues. Before you have to take this second. Before, before, before we have to take further. That is before. Okay. That's all medical. I am not a medical professional. Let's see. What does the medical <laughs> journal text say? Okay. So when is the question? How? Procedure. Okay. How to get the consent, not postmortem procedure. What is the procedure of how to take the procedure to take the consent? So this is called mm -hmm. foreseeing, the first step of first method, foreseeing. First method, you remember, first web stands for foreseeing, uh, I stands for interpreting or inquiring, and R stands for reading, C stands for S stands for speaking out, and T stands for teleprinting, writing. Okay, when seeking consent for a postmortem <coughs> examination, it is necessary to give a valid reason for conducting it. So the first option, so give a valid reason for conducting it. That is a key phrase uh, here in the first sentence, first option. When seeking consent for a postmortem examination, it is necessary to allow all relatives. Eliminate. 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 Absolute. 
even otherwise in general you know you cannot allow all relatives the opportunity to all decline <laughs> that also not to consent it allow all relatives you have to call them from america canada germany and everywhere <laughs> it, does it make any sense even without that all uh, absolute does it take any man no as a no. medical professional does it make any sense no, no. no before no, post mortem no. it doesn't make any sense so you see in both the ways you can eliminate it this why i took it from i wanted to uh, convince you how the strategies work that's why i take to uh, took two texts from the official sample material and all the materials will be like this and there are some tricks of this type where you can eliminate and that's the reason why we say qat method and third one is only raise the subject after death has occurred ഫിനിഷ്ടി then you can come and read and enjoy only raise the subject after death has occurred in general sense also you can understand issues like organ donation otherwise as somebody mentioned here if resuscitation is not required and that is almost like there is not a procedure to be carried out to treat the patient and such incidents also they can so exceptions are there only raise the subject after death has occurred that is a general layman's language before death you should not think of burial okay that's a layman's language professional medical professionals will definitely think of what is next they will also have to maybe in india you may not as you go to uk and other western countries you will understand they will think of everything they will check out whether the person has agreed to donate his organ or some organs or to the medical uh, the body to the medical uh, college or something of those things and everything will be arranged before death after death if you look into all these things you will not be able to take uh use any of the organs right <laughs> yes so those are the common things how beautiful you see text 3 post mortem consent a senior member of the clinical team preferably the consultant in charge of the care of the care should raise the possibility of a post mortem examination with the most appropriate person to give consent the person consenting will need an explanation of the reasons for the post mortem examination and what it hopes to achieve the first approach should be made as soon as it is apparent that a post mortem examination may be desirable as there is no need to wait until the person has died many relatives are more prepared for the consenting procedure if they have had time to think about it beforehand here what is the subject complement ignore the subject compliment to save your time yeah see a senior member of the clinical team should raise the possibility of a post mortem examination so preferably the consultant in charge of the care is not essential to understand the message so whatever comes in between commas are known as subject compliments doesn't make uh, change the meaning of the whole uh, sentence so you can just ignore that so that you save time post mortem examination with the most appropriate you see most what is that scale scale so there is a why because there is a clue to the one of the options clue to one of the answer options what is that now it says allow all relatives here it says as i'm with the most appropriate person so most says this is not the correct answer okay all cannot be the correct answer to give consent the person consenting will need an explanation of the reasons for the post mortem examination an explanation for the reasons for the post and the, what they want to achieve what does it mean valid reason yeah valid, valid reason. reason so fa- first option valid reason. reason so that is a clear paraphrasing of the first option did you get it yes father yeah yeah yes so the first approach should be made as soon as it is apparent that a post mortem exam may be desirable as there is no need to wait see there is no need so clearly it is said no need to wait until until death until death which is option this is opposite of 
only raise the uh, subject after it has occurred. Yeah. yeah, opposite of it. There is no need to wait until the patient has died. The other one says only raise the subject after death has occurred. Just opposite. Yes. Sir. So this is how they, they this is the, these are the strategies. This is how they uh, they prepare the questions. They have no other freedom. The, those who have prepared the question papers, they have clear cut restrictions. Do you have to have these strategies applied into each question? So many relatives are more prepared for the consenting procedure if they have had time to think about it beforehand. By informing them even before death, they can prepare themselves. So the reason is given. So ultimately, it is crystal clear how it works. So first one is the correct answer. No confusions, right? Even otherwise, mm -hmm. we have eliminated with absolutes. Now coming to what are the strategies being used here? Scale being used. Opposite. Yeah, absolutes all and only. Ignore the subject complements. We have oh, seen okay. subject complement. Scale, most scale. appropriate person and yes. versus all relatives. Question, okay, so uh, reason, answer option says all relatives. Such rex says most appropriate person. Paraphrasing, answer option A, it is necessary to give you a valid reason for conducting it. Text says the person consenting will need an explanation of the reasons for the postmortem examination and what it hopes to achieve. And the fifth one is opposite meaning. Answer option B, allow all relatives the, all relatives, oh. the opportunity to decline it. Text says with the most appropriate person to give consent. Okay. Answer option C says only raise the subject after death has occurred. But text says there is no need to wait until the patient has died. Absolutes are there. Uh, subject complements could be ignored. Scale is there. Paraphrasing is there. Then opposite meaning. Five strategies are there. Yes. That's it. Any, any, any slides you want to revisit? Uh, for the question number one, like uh, regarding the hypertension, which one the answer for that? No, no. C is no, the answer. C is the answer. C is the answer, no? Prevention is better than cure? No, no, not that one for the hypertension. Yeah, this one is hypertension. This is, the hy this is hypertension. Third C option is the correct answer. No, no. This lifestyle, lifestyle changes is the keyword. Lifestyle, changes in lifestyle, life, changes in lifestyle, changes in lifestyle. And it occurs here. The second one is medicine. First one is grammatically inaccurate. Second one says medicine is the best cure. But third one says prevention is better than cure. Yeah. And the topic sentence says adequate changes in lifestyle are the cornerstone for the prevention and treatment of hypertension. And again, it says uh, lifestyle changes are fundamental for the therapy. Taka, 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 taka. Everything says lifestyle changes, lifestyle changes, lifestyle changes, lifestyle changes. It's like you tell the Kima, this is fire. I have five R E. Do you get me again? Hello. This is Father. fire. Yeah. So during okay. elimination, I felt like the, okay, is the correct answer for it. For subjects with normal or subnormal hypertension, it can prevent or delay hypertension. For subjects. Uh, let me clarify. For grade hypertension subjects with normal or subnormal, subjects do you have normal or subnormal? Like a first. See now here, uh, you see it's a group okay. of subjects. Degree, uh, do you have normal and abnormal men mentioned? No, anyhow, it is uh, grammatically inaccurate. It can never be the right answer. But then, uh, do you have that normal and subnormal hypertension mentioned somewhere? In no, the no, text. No, no father. But uh, like like this, it can create one delay. Grade one hypertensive patients, it can prevent or delay medical therapy. Yeah. Medical does it mean so normal or subnormal? Grade uh, one is. Does it mean normal or subnormal? Yes. See the no, <laughs> group of subjects. Two so group two group of subjects are mentioned here. One is for grade one hypertensive, hypertensive. patients. It can prevent or delay. Does uh, grade one hypertensive patients mean normal or subnormal hypertension? No, as yes. medical professionals, I am asking you. Is it the no, synonymous sir, of it normal it will, or subnormal? No, no further. No. Like it will be border. There is borderline yeah. border. Which one? Borderline. Yeah, it's like that only. Borderline is it's like like BPs, so they have some ranges further. Yeah, my yeah, question I is, my question, my question is this, grade one hypertensive patients, can it be the synonymous of normal no. or subnormal no. hypertension? 
and no father, no father. No, 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 I'm not. Father. I'm not medically. I'm not uh, competent to say that. That's why I'm asking you to clarify. I am genuinely asking no, you father, gal clarification. And the option is hypertension patients. Option A says uh, delay hypertension, but in the text it says the delay medical therapy. So that's why I said first itself it can never be the answer because that uh, the, here the uh, first option says hypertension can prevent or delay hypertension. Okay, here what it says lifestyle changes can delay or prevent. Because in this group also the answer was given A only father. Ah, that that's why I can't, uh, that's why that's why if you remember in my initial uh, initiation session I said one point challenges among challenges I said one challenge is. Uh, groups limited. Groups limited means sometimes, and it has happened to many members here in this para platform. When you're uh, very, uh, very cordial, you become a group, you make a group, then you don't need mentor. You start your own private study and you study, study, and some people with all the wrong answer keys, they will argue, argue, and come to the right answer. Now, everybody agrees with this first option. You believe that is the option. So, however you practice, you cannot go above that limitation. So don't worry, you, you make mistakes, don't worry. Now you realize, did you understand? Then are you convinced now? Yes, sir, I agree now. Yeah, first instance itself, I deleted it. It's now grammatically inaccurate. It is uh, what you call, it is, it is uh, what you call, it's a contradiction or it is absurd. It's absurd because it says hypertension can prevent or delay hypertension. That itself is absurd. There is no meaning, okay? So don't worry, when, even in your discussions, there can be mistake that shows the whole group has not understood properly. That's why this was sent by Arya and I selected this, knowing that you have issue with this particular paragraph. Study groups limited, that's why we call study group limited. Without mentoring, sometimes you re, even if you join together, whole discussions will reach a certain range because your competence, all of your competencies are of that range. Above that, you need mentoring and correction. That's why this is done. So our collect, uh, selection was correct. You see, morning I asked the uh, uh, Arya and she sent me a couple of uh, things and I selected this one. Any doubts you can ask me now, no issues. If not revisits, I'll stop sharing, that's why. Okay. Mother, could you please show the slides, uh, the one uh, for the second option, the strategies that are being used? Second text? Yes, second text. Strategies used? Yes, I want this, to just This one? It. See, almost every text has seven strategies. Five, six, seven. You need one strategy to find out the answer, or two, or three. <laughs> To counter check, you have five or six or seven strategies. Minimum five in every passage, every paragraph. In fact, in conclusion, you said like you will tell one more strategy. Said one more strategy for uh, the answer coming at the end of the paragraph. That's what I mentioned. One, one, one is the inference that we did not deal with today. That was already dealt so many times. What do you infer from the, what does the author infer from the passage? Inference, we call it. The last portion of the paragraph will be the answer. Second one was exception-based questions, which I explained one now. If it is the exception-based questions, keep a cupboard keys can be handed over to other nurses if necessary in exceptional cases for performing their duties. Is there the one you are asking me? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Two, two, only in two occasions you will have answer at the end of the paragraph. That is, one is inference question, other one is exception-based questions. And almost all the questions, separate videos I have made, sessions I have conducted, yes. and the separate videos are uploaded. You can watch them. Thank you, Father. Yes. Or you take down this number. You can send it so that we save time here. Just take down this number. All of you can take down this number. This is a new number we are using for uh, to save my time. We are using it, uh, using a, uh, another official number. One sec. 895 137 4393. 895 137 4393. And yes, 
uh, newcomers who are serious, if you are really serious about the studies, just mention that you are a newcomer and this is your full name, first name and surname. And because if you say Danya, there will be more than 100 Danyas in our platform. So you have to, uh, even in spite of you give me Danya Joes, there will be uh, 20 Danya Joes. So then we put Danya Joes 1, Danya Joes 2, Danya Joes 3. That's how we identify the people. So what happens? Give the full name and mention that you want to continue as a serious learner of OET. Okay. During Q&A, the platform discipline wants you to unmute, okay, your video and keep your phones in landscape mode, in this mode. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, please. Uh, Father, I want to tell you one thing because now I am working in Dubai. But mm -hmm. this telegram is uh, now is not possible because they banned already for the VPN and everything. Okay. No, we can't help it if you are somebody who has such issues and if you want a WhatsApp group, I can allow it. But usually we have given, we have not gone into WhatsApp. We, re, we rejected WhatsApp groups because there is no privacy. As soon as you make your WhatsApp group, anyone in the world can access your contact details. Telegram is yes. has got privacy settings. So if you are sure that you want a WhatsApp group and you want to make a WhatsApp group, I can start one for uh, such exceptional cases. Okay. Because our main platform is in Telegram. Even if you start a WhatsApp group, you will not have all the access to all these things. In You know, you cannot send big files in WhatsApp. Yes, Father. And otherwise, you have your uh, our application, Edu Skills application in the Play Store. You can even connect and get trained through uh, application. Father. Yes. Yeah. Nimi. Yeah, Nimi. I want to say thank you to some aspirants. Please, please. Yeah, definitely. Because uh, those who helped me last uh, few weeks, and still I need help from those who are willing to help our platform. So now, Asha, Aruna, Bina, Chandravadi, Danya Eldo, Dr. Kishori Panda, Jeannie, <coughs> Jomol, Jospin, uh, Limna Sebastian, Manchu Manu, Monika, Ruth Messi, Shalini, Shanmuga, Shainamma, Saumyamol, Sumi, Sridha, Saumya D and CG Ragesh. It's my sincere gratitude to all of them because they are helping a lot to the platform. Yeah, thank you so much. And I too thank you. And on behalf of the platform, admins and the whole group, thousands of people here. And whatever when uh, Nimi says helping the platform, that's also a process of gaining competency. Definitely we see that, for example, uh, she's giving you to correct some uh, scripts of the audios so you have to listen to the audio and correct which means such perfect listening practice you will never get anywhere because here you have to correct so you have to be so attentive so ultimately all these things will help your competence so definitely that's also a great uh, benefit or uh, support for the platform and you know this is a non-profit platform we cannot employ people to work and uh, because of all these supporters, we are going on. Yes. If everybody, so definitely the whole process will help you to improve your competence and confidence, whatever the admin's tasks they give you. And I also take note of them. That's why they asked me, admins asked me, definitely we have to give them something. And I said, for the supporters of the group, anytime you need not ask me, you assign, uh, I have promised the admins, you just ask them what sessions they need. You fix the, uh, sessions maybe the maximum i do is i may change a date but definitely will not cancel the sessions whatever that means fix i will do the uh, sessions as per your requirement those who are supporting the platform only if the date is not convenient for me i may change what that means fix otherwise that also 90 percent why may not change if feasible i will adjust otherwise i'll change but uh, sessions will definitely be conducted those who are supporting the platform that's why we have a session for such a small number of group of people. Otherwise, you will not have. Every time, you know, there are people, thousand. If you put in the main platform, before you enter, there would have been thousand, uh, hundred here, full capacity. We have not posted the link in the main platform for now. Excuse me, Father. Yes, yes. Yes, Dr. I'm Dr. Kishori. Kishori Panda. Yes. yes. Uh, Father, listening uh, part A, collective word, and yeah. how to apply in this strategy? I'm a bit confused. No, collective words collective in the sense words. for it. Yeah, collective uh, words bar, in the sense. Bar, bar. 
Yeah, patience is a collective word. Birds is a collective word. Or yes. uh, anything that includes uh, collective word means mentioning a group. See, patience yes. will be mentioned, uh, whereas uh, in no, the audio it means could means how it is um, applied in the um, choosing the answer. That's what I am saying. Maybe yes. the collective word is mentioned in the audio. Yes. Okay. Patience is mentioned in the or uh, take as yes, you said birds. You said birds is mentioned. A particular name of a word will be the answer. Okay, but normally in uh, a re listening part A, you may not have much of those options because the answers are copy and paste answers. You have to use the same words. But in yes. other parts, it can be there. It could be there. It's one of the strategies that sometimes people don't understand. when they say, that's exactly like your brand name and generic name, medicine. Okay. You understand? Well, they may say okay. painkiller. Other place, they may say paracetamol. Okay. So you should be able to understand this is pain, paracetamol is a painkiller. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. Exactly. The collect, so, collective uh, collective noun means brand name, and uh, particular means are the generic names. Yes. Okay. I can okay. ask another question. Can I? Definitely. Definitely. Since others are not competing with you. <laughs> yes. Father, <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we explain the fast method? How to apply fast method? F I R S. Oh yeah. I think it is uploaded. The video is uploaded, right? Uh, but um, it, I saw the all the videos. I'm uh, not clear. It's okay. It's uh, it's uh, like it may take more time without uh, uh, PPT. You may not understand. First method means it's not very essential, ma. It's the first method of reading you call. As we have seen, first step F stands for foreseeing. Okay. We have seen that it in now. I can I, understand. Yeah, yeah. Foreseeing. We have seen it now. Foreseeing before yes. we read, we foresee what will be there in the text. Yes. Yes. Looking at the heading, you can say this is speaking about keys. Okay? Cupboard, keys. Yes. Presumption. That's foreseeing means almost presuming. Then other one is inquiry. Inquiry means investigation, I. Okay? Investigation means ask these questions. Who, what, where, how, when. We ask that for uh, post-mortem consent. Okay. Okay? Inquiring. Okay. Ask all the questions, WH questions and one how. Yes. In Rudyard Kripling's language, they, he says five brothers and a sister. Okay. Five WH yes. questions and one how. Then uh, third one is R. Before you read, you have to do these two steps. Then you read the text. F-I-R. First, F-I-R. Read the text. Okay. Yes. Then yes. what you have to do? You have to skip, speak out. This is to develop competency. You have to speak out means you have to try to summarize and speak out. What does okay. the what did I read in this paragraph? Okay. What were they say in your own words? Try to speak out, so okay. that you have speaking practice as well. That also yes. helps your comprehension. Yes. Okay. What all things you have understood in your own way, as if you are speaking to someone else or you are uh, explaining to your child. You just explain what you read. That is speaking out. Fifth one is teleprinting. Teleprinting means write the answer or write the main points. Teleprinting means writing. Means Write the main right points or the gist or the bullet points. If you follow these five methods, not only you, any student will definitely learn better. It's equivalent to reading 10 times, just reading and reading repeatedly. Yes. Did you get me? Yes, yes. Yeah, Thank F I R S T. Yes. That first method will uh, improve all your skills. Okay, regarding yeah. that absolute, no, we will get the answer is uh, any only or all everything. We can uh, definitely that uh, answer will be eliminated. Can we? That 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 you have to convince yourself by practicing. Okay. Okay. Because okay. Uh, okay. sometimes sometimes the question may contain a word not. When uh, not is there, you cannot go with that means. What is not given in the passage? One option will not be given in the passage. So the wrong answer will be the right answer. In that case, this will be the right answer. <laughs> but normally, what you can do, you go to OET uh -huh. Edu Skills, write OET Edu Skills. In the YouTube channel, you write type OET Edu Skills Elimination Method. 
Okay, there is a video explaining okay. I how know. you can eliminate absolutes. And normally I tell you 100% absolutes yeah, can else. be eliminated. 100% absolutes can be eliminated, but you have to convince, get convinced. That's okay. what the competency means. You have to get convinced with that by practice. Yeah, okay. exceptions, Thank exceptions are there. All the rules have exceptions. So this can also have exception. That's all. Otherwise, normally, as we have seen, maybe all my classes these years, I, we have eliminated in all the classes we have eliminated absolutes and we were right in the elimination. Not even a single incident, we are wrong. Okay. Except when the word not okay. is used in the question. What this is not given, what is not given okay. in the mm. uh, text. Yes. Text. Okay, understood. Thank you, Father. Yes. Welcome. You are most welcome. Father, I have one doubt regarding uh, uh, yes, there is seven types of question. Question types, Hi. seven types. Okay. Uh, but uh, I'm confusing when reading the question, how to identify this is an elimination type question or this based question? Any? That's what I have explained in each type of question. We have different sessions and we have different videos uploaded where I have explained. For example, uh, the inference question will ask, what does the author infer from this paragraph or text? That is an inference question and the answer will be in the last sentence or last one or two sentences. Normally last sentence or exception based okay. questions. Okay, so what happens is it you can gain it only by competence. That's why we did not teach in the beginning initial stages at all types of questions. It's not that essential, but only you can understand when you read the topic sentence and the keyword, hedging word of the question statement and the topic sentence, you will be able to identify that. Okay, is this opinion type, uh, we can understand uh, what is the yeah. uh, author yeah. opinion, but uh, yeah. I didn't get a, a elimination type or just <laughs> that's what I am. Elimination type, you understand by just looking, seeing the eliminate, uh, obsolete words. When you see the absolute word, you know this is elimination. No, usually you don't okay, have a type yeah. of question based around elimination. You don't have a type of question, but that is a strategy being used in okay. the this one. But it's not a type of question. But then normally that is the strategy. For example, we had one today. Both other two options are absolute and yeah. only and all. So absolute. we can call it. Yeah. What okay. I'm one. What you have to understand. The EduSkills platform has done its research. And this is the platform where you have these things happening. And nowhere else you will find these question types being explained. Everywhere they will tell you eliminate, eliminate, eliminate. But why you eliminate? How you eliminate? Reasons are not given. This is a result yes, of really more than two decades of, uh, two de two decades of research. So sometimes I don't tell you exactly to do this elimination. I did not teach them at all. They were asking me again and again, only maybe at the end I taught them because that is not the way to get into the competency. Elimination has to be started after you gain competency in language. Thank you, Father. Yeah, yeah. welcome, you are welcome. And you see all these passages, I did not select any passage. Uh, Arya sent some passages and when I took one, there were some mistakes. So I did not have time to correct. So I took, I sent it back to her. Then I took the another one. Second one, I say, randomly I selected. That was the first one, which Monica said we had a lot of issues and the first answer was confirmed as the right answer. Okay, in the discussion, that was the right choice. Then I thought definitely I'll take, when I'm teaching them strategies, I'll take uh, some from uh, official sample material. Suddenly as I searched, I found in my computer, the uh, sample two was there. So I took the first and second. I did not select any. I took first and second from sample two. And you can see how does the paragraph, once you are competent, how does the paragraph speak, explain it again and again, as I said, you talk to the small kids, explain to them seven times, same thing. Say to repeatedly say them seven times in different ways. What is the responsibility of your nurse? And what is the exception? And post-mortem consent, when to get it, and options are so absurd sometimes. You have to get it from all the relatives. Now, first of all, you'll have to collect the genealogy of the patient. Okay. Then you have to 
send it to post or courier uh, the consent form to all the countries wherever they are okay by the meantime it will be almost three months to carry the post bottom so such absurd options and other one the third option is professional you have to get only after death for uh, indians we feel okay it is okay only after death before death you should not think of burial okay <laughs> but for other cultures it's like we should be prepared if the doctor says there is no hope everybody should be informed everybody should be ready and they should be prepared excuse me father uh, yes can i ask you some concern about uh, speaking uh, some are requesting for speaking partners in the platform um, but yeah. i don't understand uh, from where we get to speaking partner yeah and if you uh, if you request in the platform there are so many people come uh, take you for a ride no okay. they will tell you they will tell you they will accompany you to uk <laughs> and book the tickets for you <laughs> okay so <laughs> no <laughs> there are so much i don't want no no. no no it's very risky to ask we have been uh, telling the people it's very risky to ask in the main platform because you know spammers are waiting to contact people there are people who are sp who are spending whole their life for spamming purpose and there are people from our own platform in spite of all these uh, warnings who have given them 5000 they are no 5 lakhs 3 lakhs Two and a half lakhs, three and a half lakhs, and try to get across OET. Now, speaking partners are given in the batches, not in general, because you know, for your own privacy issues, when you are in a batch, okay. normally what happens, unless you are not able to arrange yourself, if you know somebody, you can mutually have the speaking partners. Otherwise, usually admins, there is one admin in charge only to assign speaking partners. They will assign. and the disqualifications are these sometimes we assign a speaking partner and the other person calls them they don't respond if they behave in that way such people will be blacklisted and they will not be given speaking partners because we have to respect the platform and when we spend time and a lot it is not easy to give speaking partners to give 100 speaking partners it takes hours and hours together because you have to share collect that contact and share with each other all those things before that we have to confirm that person is not a spammer okay. no? there are so many people who want to collect the things and there are people who have i told you know if you remember in some of the videos you can hear that in earlier also you can see there are people from this platform itself who have collected 10000 each from 138 people saying that they are father salim so 10000 from 138 people they have collected as soon as a welcome note comes in the para platform they will contact saying that i am father salim joseph and they will explain everything beautifully they are so happy father called us immediately so nice and uh, at the end they will say all oh, these trainings are free only if you want some personal training you can just pay 10000 and your father has asked immediately they will pay to the account given and they will go with that money <laughs> you know training that thing that number will not work up to some time yes cool so you can uh, contact the admins okay me father anita anita lobo anita lobo okay yeah, you can just uh, yeah. yeah yeah she has not written yeah, anita is very particular she your problem is solved if anita is taking it up okay cool mm -hmm. okay. she okay. will allow to you okay yeah but respect each other when you are given a speaking partner and uh, don't behave as if i have a lot of work i can't uh, Uh, arrange with my, your time. You have to respect each other's time, right? Everybody will be, yeah, yes. And a special congratulation to Sridhar. Where is he? I think ah, he's here. Sridhar is doing lot of work and uh, so preparing scripts and other things. He's a good learner. Mm -hmm. Great. Actually, I, for the in the Telegram uh, recently they posted. Actually, my uh, I mean a net network issue. I was okay, trying okay. to transfer that message. Okay. I send it okay. to your WhatsApp, Father. I have doubt in that question, but uh, I don't know how to share to you now in the Zoom class. Okay. No problem, Father. It will it's be okay. <laughs> next yes, next so classes. I can. Uh... Okay. What you can do is now the things are like this. One thing, uh, when you send me the questions, you have to send. You must send me the key because 
very very fact looking at the key i can make out whether what is your issue maybe more uh, 70% of the material that you find in the social media are wrong materials are not authentic materials Okay. maybe keys are wrong so if you don't send me the key i'll be trying to put them into uh, ppt and all those things later i understand there was a wrong key answer key was wrong that's why you are struggling you actually you don't require an assistance there you have to I, what i need to tell you is that b is not the answer c is the answer you are struggling because the answer says answer key says b is the answer but actually key is wrong and c is the answer so i need not explain anything else just tell you cc is the answer you will be convinced fine because strategies we have applied otherwise i allowed to, to put all these things into normally what happens when you send me this passages which is challenging i take up for the next session no okay. problem for that. so okay. what else you can additionally what else you can do you can just uh, if you can copy it and go word put it in the word format and okay. you can you can copy and put in the word format and send it at my telegram and inform me in the whatsapp you have sent it at the telegram along with the answer key what is what is the answer given a b or c or d then it will be easier for me to copy and paste in the ppt or sure, if i okay. need to give you some I'll highlights you. immediately in the telegram i can highlight there itself and send you because uh, my system doesn't support everything together so whatsapp is not connected to my laptop the telegram is connected to my laptop so that i can immediately highlight there and send it back to you sure father i'll do it okay cool yes thank you father welcome most welcome and also you can uh, forward such uh, doubts in the main platform there will be some people who want to discuss and you will uh, get clarity and admins also those who are there will uh, clarify the things the problem is we don't know which one is uh, i mean uh, official materials which one is not official one so it's very difficult com- to identify that once you are competent you will come to know okay yes or no you can practice <laughs> with anything try to apply the strategies then you will have doubts then you will say the question <laughs> says uh, answer key says b is the answer but i find a is the answer that's the way you how, how you become competent you have to argue with the answer key and make sure that you give a feedback in the main platform so that you will motivate others okay just give some summary of thing or if you can explain one why can't you just you can try also no one of these things you might have taken the screenshot and put it there in the main platform and explain it in your own way why this is the answer why this is not the answer maybe you can explain it malayalam also if you find it challenging in english if it's english best you can do it in kannada or any language so that many will benefit no those who could not attend the session if you want i can share the ppt also no issues no it need not be during discussion no? now soon after the session your feedback can be that way sure father we will do it so the, the, no that will improve that will help you a lot to improve your competency speaking fluency and your confidence level and your competence <laughs> and if i post the same thing you keep it in a folder and if i post this when i upload this we upload this video just copy and paste in the comment space as well so writing we can write and send it to the main platform further to correction yeah main platform you can send everything only thing if spammers contact you always i say better not to contact anybody other than the admins if you are contacting make sure they are not spammers so as soon as you ask for your help what happens they will come to help you just ignore or block okay or you confirm they are genuine people uh, you can post it to the admin or somebody then they will tell you okay they are genuine people what happens is because we can't make out who is contacting you, you know so you can send the letters so that those who are interested will definitely give their suggestions and uh, luckily if it falls on my eyes i may take it as the next session it all depends and many of the things i have taken that way and all my sessions if you don't know my principle is your mistakes or your doubts are my syllabus for the next session yes don't worry we are all learners make mistakes unless you make mistakes yeah, i i am teacher is not required right if there are no mistakes if you are all perfect no and always i did not tell you don't take the exam dates before you are competent it requires time to be competent yes, english is for life not for oet yes many Father, of them thank me I... yeah, 
many of them those who are abroad thank me for the reason they uh, i made with them to speak uh, they have become fluent because of the discussions all those things much more than my sessions because when they go there they are able to communicate otherwise sorry now arya wanted to speak something right uh it's okay for that please yeah yeah please yeah so i just have a request to everybody when we are sending some messages in support groups or in main platform please respond to that uh, notice because many messages we are forwarding but uh, we didn't uh, receive any response like some are responding but most of them are not responding to the notices and even in the discussion uh, if you have any doubt like uh, how to do the discussion how to participate in the discussion please inform uh, any of that means okay that you doesn't know how to do that or ppt or how to record the voice whatever it is you can just inform the admin so that we can help you because many of them are interested but they don't know how to do that okay so if you are interested please inform any of the admin definitely we will help you for that okay and uh, one more thing uh, if any new members are there i think uh, some are there so if you are interested if you have some time for edu skill please inform us because uh, as everybody knows uh, like we are empowering each other and we are growing growing together right so we want everybody's help so if you are interested please inform us okay definitely by doing that your competency and confidence also will improve okay and um, in the main platform if somebody is asking any doubt whatever you know regarding that if you are sure about that please give the reply okay even when you are typing the message also your competency is improving your language is improving okay hope uh, it's clear for you and arya is an example for that as soon as she, she joined here she contacted me and said i father i am at home i am not working i am ready to spend at least 4 hours a day for edu skills and she was spending 4 hours and within a short period she wrote the exam and got wonderful scores Yeah, she was held, yes, uh, she was because, spending uh, of, uh, this discussion and because of edu skills they can say yes. and uh, again i am cautioning you as soon as you, if you heard beginners and all you heard the session and you said oh reading is easy oh no oh, i got the strategies no when you get into the new passage it will never happen because i have explained it and showed you you will not be able to find it out by yourself it takes time but you have to dig out and find what is the topic sentence what is the controlling idea main idea and how is it being explained in all other sentences what is the keyword that is being repeated or the synonym or the reference repeated again and again and again repeatedly in the paragraph so all those things gradually then it becomes beautiful so always go into those paragraph structure videos and make sure that you are convinced about the paragraph structure Yeah, if you have any concerns or any issues, you can raise. Now, like you can just discuss because Father is giving time to us. No, you can. Limna yeah. Sebastian, congratulations! You are telling me B and C score is less, but your mock test except one, all the mock five mock tests above thirty five, right? Only and that also with our Amy say grade now, Father. Oh, congratulations! But in the previous uh, offline session when you came on screen, I remember you were um, telling B part B. I am getting one or two. Uh, yes, uh, 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 in part to see uh, why uh, when i am doing that assignment i have less hmm. mark on the that day uh, but after the assignment when you came to the mock test everything almost except 134 all you have for 35 and above right yes oh that is wonderful <laughs> see how easy it is once you go mm -hmm. systematically automatically it happens scores happen automatically don't bother about the scores in the beginning i believe that's what i told you that day sir, when you came on screen yes next yes. 19th is the next uh, offline program is on 19th february it may be 19th 20th 21st and all depending on the participants last time also we planned it for one day but since our sridhar manja somia sunita and all came from bangalore we prolonged it for one more day only for them yes those who came from outstation places <laughs> any any challenges i think any other challenges you faced in reading i don't know 
whenever mm-hmm. i take i wanted a challenging passages no i took uh, maybe today morning i uh, re- requested uh, arya send me some challenges or challenging tasks or they said or problematic passages because whichever i take i feel it is the easiest one so i search for something else that again it is so easy so i from yesterday whenever i got time i was searching for difficult passages and i size my whole mail because some people i ask them to mail to me if they have a doubt part of the reading with craft Mm, part C is much easier than uh, B because there is a sequence, you know, connection between all well, the questions. Uh, in the... Time limit is traveling with the time limit because uh, when I do, when I have done the assignments, uh, I mm-hmm. wasn't getting enough time to do the test to, to then I was just doing like uh, for a couple of assignments, uh, more, more mm-hmm. tests I was doing like uh, the, I looked for the easy one, then I have done that one, then the second test or first test the which one i left i was going to do that one then a couple of ones i needed, needed to finish like uh, putting all in a or all in b something like <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes that is also one of the methods in elimination the <laughs> La- yeah, last method that, <laughs> seventh method uh, now what you can do i also uh, getting yeah. a three or four sometimes yeah Arya, do we have a segment in the published schedule? Uh, yes, Father. When is it? Any idea? Uh, we'll take a poll. C is much easier than B because you have that link between questions. No, it is on the same Father. theme. Pardon? Wednesday. Wednesday. What time? Matthew, check whether the timing is okay for you. Otherwise, we'll change. 10.30 is the same same okay. time can it's okay for you yeah it's okay for me i need to get a ppt ah. that's all right no problem if it is okay. thursday right. then i am having problem because wednesday i am working night so okay, thursday okay. is done this, this is uh, wednesday no issues so wednesday yeah. we'll take it up no issues now my okay, issue is this since i have taken up c and all so many sessions Sometimes, you know, which I have not taken, which I have taken, we don't know the materials. No? Sometimes what happens, same material I will take again, prepare the PPT. And at the end of the show, I come to know already I have taken prepared PPT, taken the session, uploaded video, everything. Oh, my goodness. So it's very difficult to decide which which text I have to take. That's the big, biggest challenge now because I don't want to repeat the same thing. It's a waste of time and energy because when the audio video is already there, if i take up the same thing again it becomes a repetition anyhow i'll try to find out something new after that mock exam i have gone through the part c's videos and part b and part c but but i felt mm-hmm. part b is a bit easier than part c because sometimes i am missing that paragraphs uh, then uh, it was looking like uh, same paragraph two paragraphs was looking like the same one paragraph something problem like that then i have um, gone through the videos uh, many times then i have uh, uh, practiced again that one then i felt a bit more easier than when i have done it previously yeah now it takes time for example the main thing even for c main thing you have to understand the paragraph structure if you understand yeah. that sequence it becomes so easy the topic sentence how it is developed so just by reading topic sentences you will understand most of the things a good deal of answers will be above there then you know if there is an exception based cost a question that is not in the topic sentence inference that is not in the topic sentence so maybe something of some exceptions like that otherwise topic sentence speaks what the summary of the paragraph that's how that comes only by practice okay yeah maybe c and all no you take one text and take it for a week no issues analyze every paragraph and find out the structure then you gain the competency we we'll look into the things next uh, maybe i have asked somebody to me reading c which all things i have taken i just wanted to know which texts i have taken from official materials if i have not taken some text i could take the same can somebody help me with that if somebody is concentrating on part c official materials there are four reading materials right only c yeah. i need to know yes, which i which i have ta- not taken just want to identify which text i have not taken if you are watching my videos you can identify which i have taken which i have not taken 
if you want the official materials, I can send you in one file. Among that, only see which text I have not only... taken. I, if I can identify that, I can explain that text next time. Yes, Father, I will inform. Yes, I will message that one, Father. Okay. From YouTube Shanmug. videos, whichever. Yeah, yes, Shanmuga. Okay. Did you get the an idea? Yes, yes, Father. There are... You know, there are official, official yeah, official YouTube Sam, uh, no, official OET sample reading materials. In that, only C part, which okay, I have first. taken, which I have not taken. You can just mention the heading of the material. Yeah, what I have not taken, if you can send me the material, so that will be one step further help for me. Okay, and uh, if somebody else can put it in word format and send me, I'll be more happier so that I can save time working on it so that clerical work, I don't do much. I do more of teaching. And if somebody can paste it in the PPT and give me, I'll be even more happier. Even plain PPT, then I will convert it to all the boxes and animations. <laughs> yes. Because I am struggling to get the time. Because I when today I wanted to I prepare, make yeah. PPTs for that, but uh, but I need some time for the. Mm -hmm. You don't require I make. Laptop. I, I'm using ah, no, my no. phone. It's, it's okay. You need so, not do it. It will be it will be time consuming. Why should you waste? Those who have laptops, if they can work out, like even. Father, PPTs just you teach me. I will do it. it. PPT. <laughs> yes. And recently I asked someone, uh, they asked me 70 rupees per slide just to copy and paste to the slide. Mm. All <laughs> files. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just uh, the PP, the one paragraph has to be the question and the, as I do now, no? If it is plainly pasted, then I can highlight and other things I can do if I have to put into, and then, you know, that's not the only work. If it is posted there, like uh, C part text, which I select, if it is that posted into six or eight questions are eight slides, may I may I learn to make 24 slides? Then I can copy from there and highlight and put into strategies and boxes and all those things can be done. The other part is like I have to go and search for then come take if it is PDF, I have to make it to Word. When I shift into Word there, then I have to read whether there are some mistakes or those issues are there. Those are the works which can be done very by anybody. It doesn't require any expertise. When I spend time, more time on that, uh, what happens, will I, uh, the sessions will come down because I'll be struggling with making PPTs. See, without PPTs, some visual learners will not understand most of the things. That's a problem. Just yes, tell me whenever, Father. Yes, whenever yeah. you're free, tell me. Yes, you send me. Yeah. Do. yeah. That's nothing if you know to open. Oh, yeah. Uh, if I can, I will try. Yeah, there is nothing uh, to do one, if you, uh, Shanmuga, when you finish. No, this is uh, yeah. there is nothing if to she do. Will send the like, yeah, Shanmuga will send the material. Or she will. Uh, uh, you can inform Limna also. Okay. What uh, okay, uh, the so same thing? What I you will... tell send me, you can send it to Limna also. So what okay. happens? It is uh, you need not do any decorations or anything. Just copy and uh, like no Limna. What you can do? Just copy and paste. Uh, Question and text in one. If you find difficult to put in one PPT, you put question, copy, and paste in one slide, text in another slide. I will put it together, no issues. That's all. If there are eight questions and eight uh, paragraphs in one text, eight slides, that's all. Just copy and paste. Now, question will be separate. Text will be separate, you know. There you have to okay. uh, copy the question first and paste. Just copy, select it, copy it, and paste it to the slide. Below that, copy that passage concerned to that particular text and paste it there. Then if you have the key, just mention which is the answer. In whatever the way, you just mark the answer. Maybe you can just uh, color that uh, C, B, or A, or the full word, sentence, whatever, which is the answer, that's all. Rest I will do. I will try, I will try. Yeah, what I'm thinking, I would need to give more sessions so that if I can save time like this way, this, Instead of spending time on our own uh, PPT, I can spend that time for giving sessions. Because we are planning to take one batch at least from day one to end. 
systematically so that even the videos can be in the systematic way because everyone from the very beginning they start asking where should i start where should i start only answer we have is from erna if you are erna at ernakulam you start from ernakulam vera valladum chodikkanade chodichu malayalathil nee kannadalo malayalathilo kannadalla yav pashalu kelbu ഞാൻ ഇരുന്ന് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇരിക്കും പിന്നെ ഏറ്റുപോയ പിന്നെ പിന്നെ ഇരിക്കുന്ന കാണുന്ന എപ്പോഴാന്ന് അറിയത്തില്ല അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഇരുന്ന് വരുന്നത് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സോ സിമ്പിൾ കാരണം ഒ ടി ഒക്കെ ഐ എൽസിക്ക് ഐ എൽസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ആക്ച്വലി ആസ് കമ്പയർ ടു ഒ ടി ഐ എൽസ് ഇസ് റിയലി കോമ്പിറ്റൻറ്റ് സോ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഐ എൽസ് ഐ ആൽ ബിൻ ടീച്ചിങ് ഡേക്കേഡ്സ് ഒ ഇ ടി ഐ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് വെരി ലേറ്റ് ബട്ട് ഒ ഇ ടി ഇസ് ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് എവറിങ് ഇസ് ബൈ ഹട്ട് ഫോർ മീ ബട്ട് ഐ എൽ സ്റ്റിൽ ഐ ലോ ടു റെഫർ ടു ആൻസർ ബിക്കോസ് ഒ ഇസ് സോ ലിമിറ്റഡ് സ്ട്രാറ്റജീസ് തിങ്സ് എവറിങ് ഇസ് സോ ലിമിറ്റഡ് ആശ ജോഷി ടിജി ടിജി ഒക്കെ ഭയങ്കര ആക്റ്റീവ് ആണ് പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോമിൽ ഞാൻ കാണുന്നുണ്ട് കേട്ടോ എല്ലാത്തിനും സൂസൻ തമ്പി പടപടാന്ന് മെസ്സേജ് കൊടുക്കുന്നത് ഷൺമുഖ പിന്നെ റെസ്പോൺസിന്റെ ഐക്കൺ ആണ് ഇപ്പൊ നമുക്ക് ഓരോന്നിനും ഓരോ ആൾക്കാരുണ്ടെന്ന് പറയുന്നതുകൊണ്ട് ഈ കാലഘട്ടത്തിൽ ഷൺമുഖയാണ് ആരെന്ത് ചോദിച്ചാലും ഇടിച്ചാണ് സർ പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കും അത് നല്ലൊരു കാര്യമാണ് കേട്ടോ ചിലര് അങ്ങനെ നല്ലതാണ് പിന്നെ ഷിൻസി എസ് പിന്നെ ഒരു കാര്യം നിങ്ങൾ എനിക്ക് പറയാനുള്ളത് നിങ്ങൾ കൺസിസ്റ്റന്റ് ആയിട്ട് പോയില്ലെങ്കിൽ എജു സ്കില് കയറി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് എത്ര പ്രാക്ടീസ് ചെയ്തു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടും കാര്യമില്ല കേട്ടോ കറക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് ഇൻസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ അനുസരിച്ച് കൺസിസ്റ്റന്റ് ആയിട്ട് പോകുമ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ആരംഭഘട്ടത്തിൽ ഭയങ്കര ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടായിരിക്കും എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഒന്നും ചെയ്യുന്ന പോലെ ഒന്നും ഉണ്ടാകുന്ന പോലെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് തോന്നിയല്ല ഈ ട്രെയിൻ കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ടോ ട്രെയിൻ നിർത്തുന്ന കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ടോ അതിനൊരു ഷട്ടർലോക്ക് ഉണ്ട് ഒരു ചെറിയൊരു സാധനം അതിന്റെ മുമ്പിൽ വെക്കും ഈ വീല് മൂവാകാതിരിക്കാൻ ചെറിയൊരു ചെറിയൊരു ഒരു തടിക്കഷ്ണം പോലെ ഒരു ചെറിയ മെറ്റലിന്റെ സാധനമാണ് ഒരു ഇത്രയും കട്ടിയുള്ളൂ ഇത്രയും ഒരു ഇത്രയും കട്ട ഇത്രയും കനമുള്ളു അതിന് ട്രെയിൻ നിക്കുമ്പോ അങ്ങനെ വെച്ചാ മതി അത് മെല്ലെ ഓടി തുടങ്ങുമ്പോൾ അതിന് വലിയ മൊമെന്റ് ഒന്നും ഇല്ല അനങ്ങി അനങ്ങി ഞരങ്ങി ഞരങ്ങി ഇവൻ പോകുമെന്ന് തോന്നും അല്ലേ പക്ഷെ അങ്ങ് മൊമെന്റം കിട്ടിക്കഴിഞ്ഞാലോ ഒരു ട്രക്കൊക്കെ അതിന്റെ മുമ്പിൽ വന്ന തോണ്ടി എടുത്ത് ദൂരെ കളയും അല്ലേ അതിന്റെ പൊടി പോലും കാണിയല്ലേ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന പോലെയാണ് ഈ ആരംഭത്തിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ ഞരങ്ങി ഞരങ്ങി പോവുള്ളൂ അതിനുള്ള പേഷ്യൻസ് ഉണ്ടാകണം അതാ ഇല്ലാത്ത പലർക്കും അന്നേരത്തിന് കുറെ മെറ്റീരിയൽ എടുത്ത് ഇതെല്ലാം എടുത്ത് വെച്ച് വായിച്ചു അയ്യോ എനിക്ക് സ്കോർ കിട്ടിയോ നോക്കുന്നത് ആരംഭത്തിൽ ഒരു പാരഗ്രാഫ് സ്ട്രക്ചർ എടുത്ത് വെച്ച് ഒരാഴ്ച വേണമെങ്കിൽ ഇരുന്നു ഒരു കുഴപ്പമില്ല കാരണം അവിടെ നിങ്ങൾ ഡെവലപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്ന മൊത്തം കോംപ്രഹൻസീവ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള കോമ്പിറ്റൻസ് ആണ് അല്ലാണ്ട് വെറുതെ നിങ്ങളുടെ ഒരു പാരഗ്രാഫ് അല്ല നിങ്ങൾ പഠിക്കുന്നത് അവിടെ അപ്പൊ അതിനകത്തുള്ള എല്ലാ കാര്യങ്ങളും അരച്ച് കലക്കി കുടിച്ച് അങ്ങനെ ശാന്തമായിട്ട് സാവകാശം മുന്നോട്ട് പോകും അതിനു വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് ഒരു ഒരു പാരഗ്രാഫിനെ കുറിച്ച് ഞാൻ ചില സെഷനിലൊക്കെ പത്തും പതിനഞ്ച് സ്ലൈഡ് ഞാൻ ആക്കിയിട്ടുണ്ട് അങ്ങനെയുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങൾ പഠിപ്പിക്കാൻ അതുകൊണ്ട് പേഷ്യൻസ് മസ്റ്റ് ആണ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എജു സ്കില്ലിൽ കയറി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞൊന്നും ആരും പാസ്സാവില്ല പക്ഷെ കൃത്യമായ ഗൈഡൻസ് എടുത്ത് കൃത്യമായിട്ട് പോവുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഈസി ആയിട്ട് പാസ്സാകാം ഒരു സ്ട്രെസ്സും ഇല്ലാണ്ട് പാസ്സാകാം അച്ഛനിപ്പോ പറഞ്ഞ കാര്യം ഞാൻ പല പ്രാവശ്യം ചിന്തിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് ഈ വീഡിയോ കാണുമ്പോ ഇതെന്തിനാ അച്ഛൻ ഈ സെയിം തന്നെ ഇതെന്തിനാ എത്ര ആശ് ഈ സെയിം തന്നെ കാണുന്ന കാണുന്ന ആദ്യം ഞാൻ ചിന്തിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് അത് കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പോ എനിക്ക് മനസ്സിലായി ഇതെന്തിനാ സെയിം തന്നെ റിപ്പീറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് റിപ്പീറ്റേഷൻ ഈസ് ദി വേ ടു പെർഫെക്ഷൻ മനുഷ്യന്റെ ബ്രെയിൻ എങ്ങനെയാണ് ബ്രെയിൻ എങ്ങനെയാണ് ഇപ്പൊ ഒരു ഡ്രൈവിങ് നമ്മള് കോമ്പിറ്റന്റ് ആണെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് എന്തെങ്കിലും പുതിയ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുമോ അതിനകത്ത് ഈ പറയണ സ്റ്റിയറിങ് ലെഫ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് റൈറ്റ് എന്തിരിക്കുക വേറെ കൂടെ എന്തിരിക്കാൻ പറ്റുമോ പറിച്ചെടുക്കാനും പറ്റുകയില്ല പിന്നെ ക്ലച്ച് ബ്രേക്ക് ആക്സലേറ്റർ ഇത് ഒഴിച്ച് വേറെ ഒന്നും ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റൂല ഇത് തന്നെ റിപ്പീറ്റ് ചെയ്തോളൂ ഇപ്പൊ നീന്തൽ പഠിക്കാനാണെങ്കിലും കൈ കാല് കൈയിട്ട് അടിക്കുന്ന ആ മൂവ്മെന്റ് അല്ലാണ്ട് വേറെ എന്തെങ്കിലും ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുമോ വെള്ളം കുടിക്കാൻ തുപ്പാം അതല്ലാണ്ട് വേറെ ഒന്നും ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റില്ല റിപ്പീറ്റേഷൻ റിപ്പീറ്റേഷൻ ആണ് അതിന്റെ ഒരു നമ്മുടെ മൈൻഡിന്റെ ബ്രെയിനിന്റെ ഒരു ഇതെന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സ്കിൽ ഡെവലപ്പ് ആണോ റിപ്പീറ്റ് ചെയ്തേ പറ്റും അതുകൊണ്ട് ചിലതൊക്കെ എനിക്ക് വട്ട് പിടിക
മെറ്റീരിയൽ എടുത്തു വെച്ച് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞില്ല ഞാൻ എഴുപത്തഞ്ചിന്റെ ബാക്ക് നൂറ്റമ്പതിന്റെ ബാക്ക് ഇരുന്നൂറ്റി എഴുപത്തഞ്ചിന്റെ ബാക്ക് റീഡിംഗ് ഒക്കെ അയച്ചു കൊടുത്തു ഒരു പാർട്ടി പറയാം ഈ മൂന്നെണ്ണം അയച്ചു കൊടുത്ത പോയാൽ അതെല്ലാം കഴിഞ്ഞു അതെല്ലാം കഴിഞ്ഞു മാർക്കറ്റിലുള്ള സകല റീഡിംഗ് ഇനി എന്ത് ചെയ്യും പുതിയ റീഡിംഗ് ഉണ്ടാക്കി പ്രാക്ടീസ് ചെയ്യേണ്ട അവസ്ഥയാ അയ്യോ ഗോഡ് ബ്ലസ് യു മാ കീപ് റോക്കിംഗ് be Thank have you. some romance yeah have romance with oed <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. yes okay god bless you all god bless you all thank you for okay, thank you for that oh yes 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 thank you for yeah, yeah. bye bye